Elliot Grinch. All right, what's going on, everyone? Game Boy EG back again with another LSPDFR GT5 quick tutorial. And um, on this one, I am going to show you how to install uh, the Starlight Motel into a uh, single player. This is located at a uh, 5M mods um, releases or, or, you know, full 5M resource development and modding releases. Uh, website which I explain in numerous past videos where I like to go to for um you know five and resources that I you know want to place it into my uh, single player game but um anyway this is the uh, Starlight Motel and uh you know it's a raggedy hotel but uh it's an MLO <laughs> nonetheless and um you know in case you you're not aware you know how to place it into your single player game I decided to make a video and um, show you how to place it into your uh, SP game. So anyway, you go head over to uh, 5M. And like I said, you go to uh, 5M resources, development and modding, go to releases and just, you know, or you could do a Google search, which is what I did. Let me just go back. I did a, you know, do a, do a Google search, Starlight Motel MLO. And um, this is the link right here. Click on it and voila you are here and this is created by Smokey. uh follow him on discord i'm going to place his link down below in the uh, in my um description uh area so uh you know him and i are cool on um on a uh, discord you know follow him on discord and follow me on discord anyway as well and um definitely and definitely show your support he makes a lot of great mlos all right so anyway, once you download that, you will get the uh, zip file or the uh, raw file. I've already already extracted it, so I'm not going to do it again. You know about extracting files. Uh, use 7-zip. Um, much easier to me. But um, anyway, whatever you use to extract your files. Extract the files, you get two folders. Smoky Motel, Smoky Motel Exterior. Like I said, I choose to just keep it simple. I, I titled this also use um create dlc pack I'll, I'll have that in the um description as well the link for that as well but that's this file here dlc creator i've talked about this on numerous videos again you know before i'm not going to talk about it again but anyway once you have that it it, it, it makes a, a world of difference when creating mlo you know dlc packs especially for mlos so anyway title it whatever you choose to title it i, I call it starlight motel keeps it real simple you'll get the folder using um open four you're going to place the folder in update x64 dlc packs as you can see i've already done so so i'm going to close this out drag and drop it in there you'll get the starlight motel dlc everything is already set up the content and the setup XML files already set up. You go to X64 levels, GTA 5, and you'll have your two RPF folders. <clears throat> so the one thing you have to keep in mind with making the um the DLC MLO um file folders or whatever you want to call it, is if there are multiple manifest files. I've had some people ask me about that. To keep things simple, because like you see, there's two manifests. And obviously, if you place a manifest over an existing manifest, it's going to cancel out that previous manifest. What you do is you just have to separate it. So we already have two folders. So what we're going to do is the Motel Exterior manifest. It's two files in this folder. We're going to place that in the first folder where we usually place where you usually place the files that are um, texture files, um, which you'll see. So we're going to drag and drop manifest and smoky motel exterior into the first folder. So we're going to go ahead and place everything in this first folder to get that out the way. So the starlight motel RPF, we have the exterior files and we're going to place our 
texture files. So we're going to place these two files. Oh, well, let me put it like that. YBNs, um, YDRs, um, and that's pretty much it. That's what we have in here. So we're going to place that. We're going to place these. We're going to place this YDR in there. So this is real simple, not a lot of files. And we're going to place this in there as well. So we'll have a total of 10 files within that folder. Then we're going to back out. And now our metadata, we're going to place this manifest file in here. We're going to place the stream file in there. We're going to place our YTYP file in there as well. All of these Y maps go in here. And that's it. So we'll have a total of 26 files within there. So we have a total of 36, right? So let's see, we have 34 plus the uh, two from the exterior gives us a total of 36. All right, so we have that. So we'll close that out. We'll close this out like that. I'm going to start my game up and I will see you within the game momentarily. All right, so my game has loaded up and um, <laughs> this is the uh, new LSPDFR 0.4.8. Which, given, which has given us a, a new um, apartment or resident, residence out here in uh, Grapeseed. So anyway, the uh, Starlight is located down in Mirror Park. This is it here. He's fine what it says, but I believe that's still Mirror Park though. So we'll teleport. And here we are. So, like I said, it's a raggedy hotel, but anyway. <laughs> we go inside here. So, I think there's only, you know, there's a few apartments, of course. Uh, you know, obviously, to do all the apartments, you know, it doesn't make sense. You know. Let's go upstairs real quick. Quickly. Go. Take a look around, and there you go. So, another MLO to add, you know, to your collection. And just to answer, somebody else had asked me, um, they have problems sometimes with um, MLO collisions not working. So, the biggest reason for that is if you put in an MLO, an MLO that is located near another MLO that uses the same, uh, I'm going to show you from an aerial view. So let's say if the MLO uses the same, let's say like block or blocks. So like you, you would have to see that in cold Walker. So like an MLO design may utilize this, and this area may be together. So if you had an MLO from here and an MLO for, for here, and they utilize the same game shell, I believe that's what they're, they're called. The creator, of course, only created the MLO for this particular building. So they're not going to open doors on this. So because they share the same shell, once you put in the overlapping MLO is going to cancel out the shell design from you know I get whichever one it chooses the previous one I'm just gonna say it that way so like the doors will be open on this one but now the shell has the closed doors so these doors will now be closed so you you'll, you'll see them push open but you won't be able to walk through them because the shell from this MLO has been canceled out by this one or it could be vice versa so like if you you know install this one and then you install this one these doors will be open from due to the creators MLO shell so the doors will work so you'll see the you you will see the interior for this but you the collision will be canceled out from this one because they they have they use the same MLO shell 
but all the doors are not open. It is, you know, hopefully you can understand that. I may do a, a video just to explain that more in depth. So just keep that in mind with using MLOs. You, you, you may not be able to use all of them without, you know, because you'll see in some of my videos, I use, um, you'll have to use a teleport. Because you, you'll, you'll get the interior, it's just that the collision um, would have to be modified by somebody who knows how to use Cold Walker. You know who, who can um you know create a, a shell or one you know one shell so that you can utilize both mlos at the same time all right so I hope, hopefully that explains a little bit just just a little tidbit all right maybe i'll go more in depth on another video just so people have a clear understanding okay but anyway game boy eg signing out from another one hope you enjoy uh, I, I appreciate all my subscribers. Please keep sharing. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. All right? And um, we'll keep it moving. All right? Other than that, um, like the video. Comment down below. I try to answer as best as possible and as quickly as possible. And, um, you know, yeah. But uh, take care. Stay safe.